in this session we are going to discuss trees trees are an example of a non linear data structure trees are one of the most important and uh, one of the most interesting data structures so when you have a question from trees you will see that it's very interesting to solve questions from trees and uh, it's very important in terms of uh, interview as well as objective as well so there are many uh, properties of a tree which we will discuss uh, which will be asked in the objective and there are few quotes uh, that will be asked in few proper statements that will be asked in interviews now let's see what is a tree and uh, what is the properties of a tree and how do we uh, perform various operations on a tree so as you can see i have written non linear data structure so till now we have uh, studied stack queues arrays linked list so all of these are linear data structure whereas tree is a non linear data structure so what happens in a tree is then uh, it rather than pointing so let's say in linked list a uh, node one node used to point to some another node in a linear fashion but that is not the case with tree in tree a particular node can point to n number of nodes and this is an example of non linear data structure so let's see how tree looks so what happens in a tree is let's say we have a particular node generally we in tree we represent each node using a circle so let's say i have a this is the node and this node has pointers to let's say n different number of nodes so it may point to n different number of nodes this is again a node and this node can further point to n different number of nodes so what happens in this case is this is a tree structure and it's a way of representing a hierarchical structure in a graphical form so this is how tree looks so talking about some of the uh, properties of the tree the topmost node of the tree or the very first node of the tree is known as root this is the root so what happens that this is the root or you can say that say if this is the node and it contains address to these many nodes so these many nodes are coming out of this particular node then this node is called parent and this is child in this particular if you see just this area then this is parent this is child now again these particular nodes are coming out of these node so if you see this particular area then this is parent and this is child and how do we know that this is a root node a root node won't have any parent so as you can see it is not having any parent so this is known as root of the tree and this particular link between the parent and the child is known as edge and these nodes these particular nodes are known as leaf nodes so what how do you know how do you identify that this is a leaf node so any node which does not have any child is called a leaf node as you can see there this particular node has no child this particular node has no child similar is the case with these particular nodes so a node which has no child is called the leaf nodes and children of the same parent are called siblings so if you say say this is the parent and it has two children so these two are called siblings now let's see some of the more uh, novel features in case of tree let's draw new tree okay so now i have uh, drawn a cleaner tree so that uh, things are much easier to understand so let's revise what we saw in the last uh, slide so this is the root of the tree the link between the parent and the child so in this case the node which is pointing to other three nodes so the node which is having the other nodes is known as the parent and this is known as child so a root root node won't have any parent and the link, link between parent and child this particular link is known as edge and the nodes which does not have any child node further they are known as leaves leaf nodes 
and children belonging to same parent are known as sibling. So if you say that B is a parent, then E and F belong to B. So B has the address of E and F. B is further pointing to E and F. So E and F are siblings. Also, if there is a node, and whatever node comes up from the path, from the root to this node, whatever nodes comes up in between, they are called the ancestor of this particular node. So, A, C, and G are ancestors of K. So, these are very much similar to the real life situations that we have. So, I, it will be very easier to understand. So, A, C, and G are ancestors of K. Because if you see that, if you go from A to C, C to G, and then K, so in order to come to K, you'll have to visit this particular path. And whatever comes in the path from root to this particular node are called the ancestor of K. And this K is the descendant of B nodes. So we can say that K is descendant of G, C and A. So these are few of the definitions in a tree. The two very important things that you will often come across when uh, going through the problems of a tree is height and level. Let's try to understand what height and level is. So the height of a particular node. So there are two things: height of a node and height of a tree. So the height could be of a node, or that could be of a tree. Similar is the case of level. It could be of a node, or it could be of a tree. So let's take this particular node. Let's take E here. So the height of P E is the distance from E to the deepest node. So what is the deepest node? J. So what is the distance between E and J? It is one. So you can see that. The distance between E and J is 1. And what is the level? Level is the distance of the node from the root. So what is the distance of the node, this particular node E from the root? It is 1 and 2. So I can say that if this is for E, then this is the level and this is the height. Okay, so what is the deepest node? Deepest node means uh, whichever node which is coming at the bottom most position or which is the deepest. So, in this case, the distance between E and I is 1. So, as you can see that E and F are at the same level and F is a child node of, sorry, I is a child node of F. So, we can say that the height of E, F, G, H and I, oh sorry, let's say this is J, E, F, G, H and I are 1 because it is just one distance away from the deepest node. Similarly, height of all these nodes are at the 1, 2, 2. So, the level of these nodes is 2. Now, considering the height of the tree, this is the height of a node. So, the height of a node will be, height or level of a node will be different for different nodes. So, in this case, if we consider it for D, so the height of D is this particular thing which is 2 and the level is 1. What will be the level of this particular root node? It will be 0 and what will be height? It will be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. It will be 3. So you can say that height is the distance from the bottom and level is the distance from the top. And talking about the height and level of the tree, height and level of a tree are, al are always equal. So what is the height of a tree? Height of a tree is the maximum height among all the nodes. And what is the level of a tree or depth of a tree? This is actually more uh, famous as depth. So this is the depth of the particular node. So the depth of E is 2. The depth of root is 0. So, what is the depth of a tree? Depth of a tree is maximum depth among all nodes. So, what is the maximum height that we have in this case? The maximum height in this case is 3. And what is the maximum depth in this case? It is also 3. 
so the height and depth of the tree will be three. The height will be equal to depth. In case we are talking about the height of a tree, if we talk about height and depth of a particular node, it may vary. Now let's talk about binary tree. 